is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Johnson 4 here bring guys more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video because today I managed to go 49 kills and 9 deaths. Maybe like one more death be uh, before the other one. Uh, the one that I showed on Friday, that one I went 49 kills and 8 deaths. So it's similar but you know it's still the same weapon and as I told you guys before this weapon is super powerful. And um, you guys saw the best class setup, do that best class setup, and you should be able to do like a lot of kills like right there and then in every single map that you play on. So um, yeah, like as you see, this weapon is op overpowered. It is super overpowered. You're great from medium range, you're great from short range, and uh, the only thing that can affect this weapon is the lag. I mean, you'll see lag like all over the place as it's been in the previous Call of Duties and... Um, you know, Modern Warfare 3 was the worst. I gotta admit, Modern Warfare 3 never had a stable connection. Uh, but this one kind of has a stable connection, like around 78% of the time. So, uh, most of the time, you'll find yourself getting a lot of kills. And then by the fourth or fifth kill, that's when it starts lagging. There's a pattern going on here in Black Ops 3 that I'm starting to notice. That when you go into a certain kill streak or into a certain, you know, streak, you're gonna be lagging, like, around the fourth kill. And sometimes, even though you're, like going like 20 and 0 or 15 and 0 your ps4 will shut down or maybe it's just my ps4 i'm not sure but i'm having problems right now with my playstation 4 and most of the time is when i'm going you know pretty much in a large ass kill streak it just shuts down or it just turns off or the application can no longer be read it's something weird going on with my ps4 i'm not sure maybe it's because i bought it off the first wave i should have waited for the second wave because the first wave i'm pretty sure uh, all PS4s were defective at that point because once I tilt my PS4, the disc ejects. So that's quite a bigger problem right, right there. I gotta really change it like for the other one, which is gonna be the new one. Um, what's it called? The the terabyte PS4. That one's gonna be pretty much well uh, of, a, of a pickup because you're gonna have like you know pretty much space for enough like around 20 to 15 games, which is super good. So I gotta pick up the terabyte because this one is really really like outdated and. You know, the first wave is just, um, it's just pretty much bad. And surprising moment here in this gameplay, how the hell did that enemy did not see me? I mean, they were like right next to each other. He's supposed to be looking at the map at the same time, and he didn't see me shoot, like, for reals. Unless this gun has a silencer. Oh, never mind, it does have a silencer. You know, it's been a while since I did this gameplay. It's been like, actually two days ago, and, um, well, I did not know it, was, it had a silencer. So um, yeah, I mean, so good, uh, so good with the Vesper. It hasn't been uh, anything bad. Every time I end up in like in a close quarters combat, this weapon is just an instant kill. Like I said, my best class setup. When they shoot you first, you actually have a hundred percent chance to take the enemy out. So no matter what, you will always be on ready. So that's something good here, guys. That's the Vesper. The Vesper is just OP. It kind of reminds me a lot of about my Black Ops 2 SMG, which is called the Scorpion Evo. I'm not sure you guys remember that weapon. I did talk about it on my first gameplay that I did about the Vesper. And um, the Scorpion Evo had the fastest rapid fire of all the SMGs in Black Ops 2. Before the update that came out, that came around like around January, I'm not sure when it was, but they toned down the Scorpion Evo. Now it's super freaking weak. It takes like around maybe like a mag and a half to like almost take out two enemies you know it just takes a while to take out an enemy in black ops 2 now because they're really you know made it weak so the scorpion evil before the updates you know was op as hell i will do the same thing that i'm doing right now with the scorpion evil and you know that's good <laughs> with the scorpion evil the highest amount of kills that i achieve is like around 92 and 7 i believe i think that gameplay hopefully is still around i think it's called the merc or something i'm not sure i also used it on a multi-team um game mode in black ops 2 and i went like around 72 kills and something so it is a great weapon for short range also so uh having that it this weapon also has the same iron sight so i was like huh you know comes kind of seems similar to the you know to the scorpion evil and uh, it almost has the stability too because the Scorpion Evil also had no recoil going on there. So that's why the Scorpion Evil was OP as hell. That's why I was scoring like around 90 kills to 80 kills, 70 kills, you name it. It was total op -ness right there. And then, you know, now it comes down to Black Ops 3 with the Vesper. And the Vesper for sure is going to take me to the 100 kills. And something else I want you guys to know, I never achieved the 100 kills before. I almost did back in the day, back in Black Ops 1, but that was like a long time ago. And that was before they added the jetpacks, of course, just in case some of you guys are barely entering the Call of Duty, you know, the Call of Duty uh, series. Uh, Black Ops 1, you know, 
There was all about running all over the goddamn place, and uh, you know this weapon called the AK-47U was just a total, you know, wreck machine. It was, it was quick, it was fast, it was, had the sleight of hand, and that's something I also I miss. If I had sleight of hand in this game, I mean, it was just, it would just be a total back-to-back -back kills. But I noticed that this weapon does uh, reload fast enough, so it's really like, I don't really need fa sleight of hand because you know it's already reloading as quick as possible. It reloads like in zero point, um, not zero actually. It reloads in two point one seconds or something because you know every time I reload, I sometimes count and it does take like around two point one seconds. So um, that's good. That's good enough because uh, there's another SMG out there that hopefully they reload like in uh, like in three seconds or so. So uh, yeah, the good thing is the Vesper kind of reloads super quick. So, um, also another thing I did manage to call in all my kill streaks in this gameplay. I just wish I had higher kill streaks because, you know, right now at, at level 28, you really don't have a lot of options. If I had the lightning strike and several other kill streaks that uh, pretty much allows me to pinpoint the enemy. And by the way, I just punched the bitch. You guys saw that? I just punched the bitch. It's because I ran out of bullets and I was like, oh, fuck, you know, what am I supposed to do? So, um, I just like fucking punched somebody. I did not know you can punch somebody here. So, that's something cool to do. And I think somebody should set up a challenge of that, like, without a weapon, just punch bitch. Like, how are you going to do that? How are you going to survive with just punching people? Because I know um, a YouTuber called Only Use Me Blade, he only used a knife and won 22 kills and 5 deaths. So imagine he was, like, out there punching people. That would be super funny to see. So, um, yeah, I'll probably make a short clip about that. I'll probably show that's a short clip and um, hopefully you guys find it funny or something. I don't know. It looked funny to me because I was like, what? I never knew you can actually punch somebody in this game. I never, you know, ran around with my fist before. You can actually run around with your fist. I can't believe they don't give you the knife anymore. Like, what the hell is that about? Like, is the knife too heavy or something? That's supposed to be an extra item it's supposed to give you. So that's kind of bullshit right there about this here, about Black Ops 3, that they don't give you the knife. You have to actually equip it on your secondary in order for you to have the knife. And by the way, if in Paint Shop, you can actually customize your knife too. So that's something cool to see. That's probably like, like something you can do. Like, um, like if you want to copy a CSGO knife, you can probably do that. So not only does that make the knives of CSGO a little bit weaker, but... You know, I, I think they lose their value or something. Like, come on. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> so that's it, guys. Uh, that's the Vesper gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. It was um, pretty much of a dominated gameplay here. I've kept calling in my missile strikes, I know. And uh, I think, like, like two or one-third of the gameplay was about missile strikes. And it uh, got me, like, around four to five kills each time I called it in. That was super good. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 beta gameplay, subscribe for more. Because there's more cool stuff coming up.